Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome in. Carolina Moonbeam here. Uh, this is your weekly reading uh, for uh, August 2020. This is the week of the 20th through the 27th. Uh, you can now find your weekly reading here on my channel every Thursday. So yay, right? Okay. Hey, uh, thanks for the uh, likes and subscribes and shares. Did you hear all those subscribes? <laughs> And shares. Uh, I, I just really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, also, I will be doing an extended read with this. You can find that link below in the description box along with some other services that I offer. Also, um, yeah, I will link that to the comments below. Okay, great. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get into this. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, for those of you that haven't been here, my name is Carolina Moonbeam. I'm a psychic medium and I have a guide that's with me all the time. Her name is Josephine and she's amazing and she, she brings the messages to me uh, so that I can get them to you, okay? Because we're in this together. We're doing this detective work. We're figuring this stuff out, right? Okay, my darlings, and not all will resonate. I am reading for a collective, uh, so if something gets you a little confused and a little off, just throw it out. Keep what resonates, all right, loves? Okay, so I want to get into these messages for you. So Josephine is, uh, you know, just a, just was a rambling on. So she's just saying, somebody's coming around, and something is coming around, because I got coming around. Um, also got uh, whatever floats your boat. This is going to be an interesting read, because there's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of detective work that needs to be done here. Um... And then I've got shit or get off the pot, straight up, like, you know, straight up kind of thing. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, also somebody's asking, is there a right way of doing this? So there's something hard that somebody has to do. I'm, I'm sensing that is a, a difficult thing. And you know, they're like, wow, well, you, you know, what's the right way of doing this? Okay. Um, and then I got, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about sex. You know, that song, I got that. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay. Wow. Okay. Capricorn, I'm going to, uh, tap into my magic sticks here. Might get a little loud. I'm going to shake them up, see what pops out. We'll see what's uh, what's coming, and uh, it's going to get loud, so hold on. Okay, wow. So I'm wondering if I am, I, am I supposed to take this one? Okay, so I'm supposed to take that one. All righty, darling, here we go. Okay, so I got I Miss You. That's beautiful. I miss you. So just missing someone, you know. Um, wow. So just wanting to say like, hey, you know, should have get off the pot because I miss your ass, right? Kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I do cuss here. Um, hmm. Let's talk about sex, baby. Right? Okay. I miss you. And then we got smoke-filled room. And this is like, you know, uh, talks about that, that dreamy state of, you know, let's talk about sex, baby, kind of thing. This is kind of, kind of seductive uh, feeling to me. Uh, it also speaks about being in a bit of confusion. Um, um, yeah, but I'm feeling like, like seduction here. And then we've got manifesting manifesting not manifesting but manifesting so somebody's manifesting which means they're being negative okay and negative draws negative so that's what's happening darling somebody's being negative and they're drawing negative and they're being mean about it okay and they're being mean about it all right my love so you know that kind of that thing hey what is our right how's there a right way of doing this Somebody's being mean. I don't, I don't feel in it. Let's see. Let's see what comes down. So what I'm going to do is grab the, um, the wisdom of the Oracle deck here. Wow. And they do not want me to shuffle. Really? Let's try that again. Uh, let's try that again. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Uh, 
Alrighty. I'm having a little technical difficulties with my equipment today, y'all. It's been interesting. Okay, here we go. Feels good, feels good. Let's get to it. Go to the sea. <laughs> this has been my card today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think Virgo got this, so you might want to check that out. But um, yeah, uh, this is a really going with the flow. Okay, going with the flow in your life. Uh, you know, just... Uh, uh, moving along with what's happening, being really flexible, you know, being really flexible. And, um, wow, you know what I just got? Wishy-washy. Just got wishy-washy with this card. Somebody's being wishy-washy about their commitment or something that they're, 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 they're being wishy-washy. They're not being clear here. Smoke-filled room we got. Interesting. Wow. That's, that's kind of stopped me dead in my tracks and Josephine's like wishy-washy. Uh, the waves can get like that when you're on the waves. It's like ch -ch -ch slapping around, you know, like a washing machine. Uh, TikTok. TikTok. So this is, uh, you know, this is two hands with a, a clock. A, it looks like a stopwatch, something there. Um, and it's like really letting go of that um, a sense of urgency and that control, letting go of control and allowing divine timing to work behind the scenes in your life. Okay. So somebody's being wishy-washy. We got we're switching. Somebody might be putting us in the washing machine. Somebody might be, you know, taking us for a little ride here, kind of. Uh, change in the wind. Change in the wind. You know, might feel like a roller coaster ride. I'm hearing that roller coaster ride. Wow. Okay, we're gonna pull one from the bottom. Loyal heart, but there's somebody there that's a loyal heart that's helping you. Okay. Somebody that's got your back. Somebody's got your back here. That's wonderful. We need that. Man oh man, do we ever. Okay, I'm gonna pull the tarot, my darlings, and see what comes out. So I get my little board all Okay, here we go. Okay, surprise they let me shuffle. Beautiful, okay. Oh, okay, you wanna come out, huh? <laughs> okay, you're coming out. You're coming out. That would be the tower card right there that just wanted to come out. And so I'm going to just put that over on the side because this is what this is telling me here is that there's something shaking, rattling, rolling. Uh, there's some kind of a, a situation. Might be something to do with this. <laughs> Lover's guard and choices. Deciding between two people. Wow. This is, what, this is where you're at, Cap. Emperor. You could be deciding. Uh, one of these people could be an emperor. This is also talking about taking back control of your life. You decide, you're in charge, right? You're in charge, my darling, or, darling, or you could be dealing with a Gemini or a um, Emperor, I mean, um, Aries, okay? Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups walking, walking away to get the Ninth Cup. So there's somebody that, the opportunity is, you know, obviously to walk away from one of them, somebody here strength <laughs> having the courage having courage i'm feeling willpower uh having the courage the strength to to walk away from the devil like not be tempted you know not fall in the trap not be overpowered oh my gosh because there's nothing like a lover to overpower us huh nothing like that to make us lose control oh yeah i'm feeling it i'm feeling it hermit hermit so you know this is really speaking about you know during when you this is virgo energy here when you um reach that space of where you know you're in control of your life okay um 
you'll be able to see things clearly you know this is taking the high road here so this is you rising above the situation seeing it for what it is and making a choice okay looking at the signs that are all around you and going which one do i choose what am i choosing what am i doing okay you're you're going to pay attention as soon as you start paying attention to these signs that are all uh, out around like red flags anything that comes you know, hey that don't feel right to me or that does feel right to me then you're going to be able to be seated in your power because you're going to have the information and you're going to take back control you're going to decide okay because the emperor is is you know he rules all the kings here emperor rules the kings okay emperor is the law you know this is government here law of the land so yeah you're gonna put the law down well okay wow this is great this is a, a this is fresh ideas you know uh, this is in your near future so this is a, this is a new cycle something new an opportunity for a passion uh, opportunity for something new Five of Wands, a lot of competitive uh, spirit in this card for me. Um, there's some um, fighting, you know. We got we got shit or get off the pot. We got whatever floats your boat. It feels like some some sarcasm and some some like you know get your shit together, girl. It kind of just feels like that to me. So there could have been some fighting happening here. Ten of Wands. <laughs> the need to lay the burden down this could also be talking about moving some heavy packages here because i'm just you know kind of zeroed in on the packages on the back of that what's that an oxen there uh you know just heavy things so you know something could have gone down here it feels very very burdensome the star okay this is a uh, this card I love this card this card speaks about so much I can't even you know so I really need to kind of tap into the energy but this is really about okay now it's about getting your wish okay getting your wish your wish is there you are going to get your wish there's something that you're wanting and it's gonna happen for you I was uh, there's also an element in of, of this card that's saying um, there's a wish farther down you know there's something that you're wishing for that's farther down the road okay you're gonna get that too but right now immediately okay in this situation you're gonna get your wish um, this is this speaks also about you being in control you know I mean you knowing what you want you um, not shy not being shy about it so you're really not holding yourself back this is what I feel and if you are holding yourself back this card speaks about don't hold yourself back be safe and secure in who you are comfortable in your skin be that emperor and yeah okay say what you want to say say what you want to say okay wow uh five of swords and this is the energy that you know that you don't like and nobody likes you know we all don't like this stuff okay this is that uh, squawking you know we, we can't hear anything because we're we're you know stuffs the, the confusion anxiety and and we're, we're trapped in in a particular moment um, this is also speaking about you know bearing the hatchet take what what's left and get the heck out of town right because you're fighting with somebody and you need to bury that hatchet and and just take what's what you know It just I'm thinking about a breakup and I'm thinking about somebody somebody breaking up and, and you know they're switching they're living together and then they break up and they're switching their house and it's like okay and somebody's fighting over who gets what and then the other person just finally goes you know what I'm I just want out of here so I'm just gonna take take what you I'm I'm just gonna take this you take I don't even care bye that's what I'm hearing here this is confusion anxiety worry okay and this is this is what you don't want you don't want this to come in and you're you're feeling that you're like, I don't want that that's not what I want something went down with y'all okay 
Page of Swords. Page of Swords. <laughs> this is social media spying. Uh, this is also learning, though. Getting information. Getting information. Okay. Um, somebody's missing you and they want to come back and they want to be with you or they you know they want this thing and you're just like i just you know i really just want you to commit okay or go okay and they're watching you on social media they're checking you out you could be checking them out um seeing where they're going who they're hanging with you know that kind of thing and they're checking you out seeing who where you're going who you're hanging with and there's some manifesting happening, you know, some negativity going on because it gets frustrating, doesn't it? I get it. I totally get it. It gets frustrating. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to look at some cards at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like somebody just really, uh, you know, might've said some harsh things. Okay. <laughs> said some things without thinking here, you know, coming in, you know, Speaking their mind, really didn't think about it, but they're just, they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of like capped, okay, because we've got the ten of wands here, like, I want to lay this burden down, I'm just really irritated with this stuff, right, and so might have, might have said some stuff, you know, that they really regret saying, uh, kind of, you, you might have, or they did, and, and, you know, you wish you, you might have, I mean, you're not really regretting, you just might have wished that you would have said it a little different or a little better, right, because here we go, we got, um, is there a right, right way of doing this kind of thing, right? You know, is there a right way? So, yeah, that, that sounds like that happened to me. Nine of cups, though. Uh, there's like a wish all around you, kid. It's, it's wanting to, it just wants to give it to you. The universe wants to give it to you. So, um, whatever you're doing, you're doing right. Okay, you're doing a good job. You know, it's that old thing. It's not what you're going through, but how you go through it. Keep your integrity. Make sure you're keeping yours. Let them show. Let them show their, their shit, right? Not you, okay? I always say let them show their ass, okay? Uh, Ace of Cups. So you are, this is a new opportunity. And that's why the Lover's Card is here, okay? Because there's a new opportunity for love coming in for you and you are going to be put in a position where you're going to choose between the old and the new. Wowzer. Definitely. It could be somebody that you're meeting on the net. Okay. Out in the world. Okay. Somebody that you're meeting out in the world. Some possible this is travel. There's not a lot of travel going on right now, but this is the travel card. This is speaking about a new cycle. Somebody new. A new cycle of love, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> Look at this thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know, I wanna hold these up for here. I just want you to see this. Look at this. Okay? We are like, you know, love that comes in. There's a new cycle. It's a new opportunity for love. Uh, it's your wish. Okay, and these people, these guys are coming together. They're coming together. And it's faded. Could be something that you're manifesting, something that you're, because we keep, I keep hearing that you're getting your wish here. You know, because you're, you're deciding, I'm out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm moving. See ya. I'm out of here. Uh, you really tapped in, just tapped into that, that high priestess of who you are being that emperor. This is powerful. This is the, this is what you're sitting in. Whew. Just been through a lot of, you know, a lot of things. You have a lot of life experience, you know, and you're just like, I'm, I'm wounded. Okay. I'm wounded, but I'm out of here. You're just done. You're done. We got the nine of wands and the ten of wands here. It's like, I have got, I have come this far and I am laying this burden down. I really hear this with you. Wow. You know, there is an, a miss you. I'm going to ask real quick about this tower card here. Um, let's see. Let's see what this tower card is. Okay, sweet Josephine. All right, real fast. 
So the tower, whatever the tower is, it's something to do with you heading out and you're leaving. You know, whether anything happened or not, uh, you're, you're wanting to go or, or there's, there's movement. There's really fast movement here. This is about protection too, protecting your own heart. Okay, balance. Um, but this is the victory. This is victory. You're having victory over whatever that tower moment is, whatever, whatever coming in, any kind of drama that came in, any kind of fighting, uh, you're having the victory over that. You're conquering. I am hearing conquer, conquer, you know, because this is what your higher self is telling you to have my darling courage and the strength because you're going to conquer this. Okay. You're going to conquer this issue. And then there's this beautiful blessing that is just given to you from this new person that's coming in. Oh, I have so much love for you. I'm so proud of you for staying on your spiritual journey and doing your work. You know, keep your integrity. Okay. Stay true to yourself. Oh my gosh. All right, darlings. I'm going to go over to the extended and uh, find out who this other person is and uh, you know uh, what they look like. Maybe let's get some, let's get some info on them. Okay. All right, darlings. I will see you next time. And I'm so proud of you. You can see, you can find your readings every Thursday. Okay. My darlings, the link is below. I'll see you over there. Okay. Bye.